in this part of section 14.7, we're looking at triple integrals in spherical coordinates. Again, back in chapter 11, we were first introduced to spherical coordinates and points in space using spherical coordinates are in the form of rho, uh, phi, and theta. Actually, rho, theta, and phi where rho is the distance from the origin, theta is the distance from the x-axis in the direction of the positive y-axis, and the, the angle phi is the angle from the positive z-axis out to the point. These are the conversion equations that are used in converting from rectangular to spherical coordinates, where x equals rho sine phi cosine theta, y equals rho sine phi sine theta, and z equals rho sine phi. The way you determine the volume of a spherical block is found by taking that distance rho squared times the sine of the angle phi times the, the, the change in the rho, change in the phi, and the change in the theta. So that's going to be used in our differential volume when we set up a triple integral using spherical coordinates. So a triple integral, again, you see that triple integral symbol with the Q underneath. That means the bounds are going to be, will determine the solid region in space. So the triple integral of some function of x, y, and z dv, where dv is a differential volume. When you convert that to spherical coordinates, you're going to replace every x with rho sine phi cosine theta. You would replace every y with rho sine phi sine theta and replace every z with rho cosine phi. And then that differential volume, again going back to that previous slide, the differential volume is rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. And then your, if it's written in this order, the bounds for, uh, for rho go from uh, rho 1 to rho 2. And the bounds for phi go to a phi sub 1 to a phi sub 2, and a, the bounds for theta go from a theta sub 1 to a theta sub 2. For instance, um, triple integrals using spherical coordinates, the iterated integral, the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the integral from 0 to pi over 4, of the integral from 0 to 3 of rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta actually gives you the volume. This is the whole dv. That gives you the volume of the solid region where the distance rho is from 0 to 3. The angle phi is from 0 to pi over 4. Now this angle, angle phi goes from 0, that's the positive z-axis, out to pi over 4. So you see that the distance rho goes from zero out to the out to three, and the angle theta goes from zero all the way around to two pi. So those three bounds determine this solid region here. For this example, we want to sketch the solid region that's defined by the bounds. We have rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta, and the bounds for rho go from 2 to 5, the bounds for phi go from 0 to pi, and the bounds for theta go from 0 to 2 pi. You can pause the video now, sketch the solid region, and then come back and check your work. Okay, so let's look at our inside differential as d rho. It does look like the letter P, but that's the Greek letter rho. The rho goes from 2 to 5. Uh, the angle phi goes from 0 to pi. And the angle theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. And these bounds define the solid region. And this triple integral would give you the volume of that solid region. Now the distance rho goes from 2 to 5. So from the origin, you can go out 2 units and then out 5 units. So the innermost rho would be 2 to the outermost rho of 5. Uh, if we begin by starting off here on the, in the positive z direction at 2 to 5 here, 
our row would be all the values between 2 and 5. That's a distance of 2 to 5 from the origin. And then the angle phi would be an angle between 0 and pi. The angle phi is measured from the positive z-axis in the direction of the negative z-axis, an angle of pi. So in this case, it would be going all the way an angle of pi from that positive z-axis, starting at an angle of 0 to an angle of pi from where rho is between 2 and 5. So looking at the region here, where all the rows between 2 and 5, and the angle B is between 0, an angle of 0 is a positive z-axis, to an angle of pi, which is the negative z-axis. So we're looking at this region in between so far. And then if we look at this last condition here, the bounds for theta, where theta is an angle from 0 all the way around to 2 pi. Now, the angle of 0 is in the direction of the positive x-axis. If you were to rotate this around 2 pi in the direction of the positive y-axis, you're rotating this solid region completely around, and what you'll end up with is a sphere with a hollow center. So we can extend some of this here to get a bigger picture. So imagine you take this yellow shaded region and rotate it all the way around to 2 pi. Then your the, um, the solid region would be the region That is given here with a hollow center. It actually would be the entire solid sphere with an empty, that part in there would be empty. So it would be, the solid region would be a sphere of radius 5, but inside of that would be a hollow sphere, and that inside sphere would have a radius of 2.